The Colorado River is out of balance. Um, we are using more water than the river can provide. The river hasn't reached its delta in the Sea of Cortez in Mexico um, for decades. To me, that's a very clear demonstration of the environmental impacts of overusing a river. We should get eight to 10 cuttings a year, and that's a fourth cutting. And after the canal has been shut down now, and um, so we have no more water coming to us. We're, we're growing in the desert. We're in a drought. Farms use like 80% of the water in, in Arizona. Starting, uh, there's a big target on their backs, uh, at least for the water. Right now we're 24% of life capacity. Um, it's unlikely that we'll see full pool levels in the near future. The water is coming down. I mean, it's, I just I just hope it's just a cycle. I don't know, and just the cycle of seasons. Colorado, this part of the Colorado is very natural. It floods and it doesn't flood, you know. It goes down, you know. It's Yeah, the river is a living thing. Here, it's nature, you know. Nature doesn't make sense all the time. The river is a great reflection of who we are as a 21st century society here in the Southwest. Because of that, when um, it is in crisis or in challenge, that's a reflection of, of our what we're doing, of how we're treating the, the river and how we're treating water here in the West. It means a lot to a lot of people, and that's the challenge because now we all have to take some actions um, to really uh, constrain and kind of recalibrate how much we can ask of this river.